After concerns of a cancer cluster among a group of classmates at Satellite High School, the school district is going to test water at other schools, 13 to be exact, all on the barrier island. They're looking for any trace of firefighting chemicals that were found in groundwater at Patrick Air Force Base. News 6's James Barbero spoke with a school board member who wants to get answers and protect families. On the same day, Brevard Schools announces it will test water at 13 beachside campuses. It was clear. Vivian Amick says she's never feared using her drinking water. The 80-year-old lives next to one of those schools, Surfside Elementary. She also worked 42 years at Patrick Air Force Base, some blaming the military's use of chemicals on a possible cancer cluster. 20 graduates of Satellite High, another school on the list, were diagnosed with rare cancers at young ages and with no family history. I grew up here. Here, and where the south end of the base is, that was a lot of swampy stuff. Well, when they got rid of things at the base, that was their garbage dump. They'd take things over there and chemicals and paper and furniture, all kinds of stuff like that got dumped over at that end. And as discovered by the Department of Defense, firefighting chemicals lurking in groundwater. According to the report that I saw from the DOD, higher than any other base in the country. School board member and Satellite Beach native Tina Deskovich is a thyroid cancer survivor. She has two kids in beachside schools now. With the small chance of it that it seeped into our drinking water, we just want to test just to make sure everybody is a lot more comfortable with sending their kids to school in August. I'm hoping that the uh, utilities will take care of everything. The cities of Satellite Beach and Cocoa Beach say they will also test groundwater. More on that work coming up at 530. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, News 6.